Happy New Year! Hi guys! Happy 2016! This is crazy. Time honestly flew by. So today I decided to make a video on gigs that I have been to. I'm gonna try to keep this short because I always make my videos really long and I'm so sorry. This video won the whole Twitter poll thing and yeah, I'm gonna tell you about all the gigs that I have been to in my life. So the first gig I ever 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 went to was in January, I think it was the 15th of January 2006, 2013, oh my god. It was Asking Alexandria. I was at Nemo, okay, fuck off. So I saw Asking Alexandria in 2013, that was my first ever gig. I saw them in Dublin, the Academy, and they were, I'm gonna be honest, they were okay. Motionless and White and While She Sleeps supported them. Um, not a fan of While She Sleeps and I honestly can't remember their set. Um, Motionless and White were really, really good. Um, Chris Motionless actually kind of like, I was at the very front of the stage, kind of up to the side. And he like, we all like put out our hands and we were like, oh, and uh, he like touched my hand. He like shook my hand, so that was cool. Asking Alexandria, they were okay. I mean, um, they did perform when Danny had his vocal problems, but they were okay. Would I see them again? Probably not. The next gig I went to was Pierce the Veil, and that was also in the Academy, which was in Dublin, and it was on 20th of May 2013. That was, okay, I'm not gonna lie, Pierce the Veil, I like them, they were one of my favorite bands back then, and oh my god, the gig was so good. The summer, I think it's the summer set, uh, Hands Like Houses, and the getaway plan, no, not the getaway plan, Hands Like Houses. Woe is me, supported them. Um, I actually met the one of the band members from Woe is me, and that was pretty awesome. And the bands are amazing, I had a lot of fun. I was also, again, at the very front of the stage. I had a letter in my hand, because I was a fan girl. I had a, this huge letter in my hand for like Pierce the Veil, and when they came on, their set was amazing. But right before they played my favorite song, which is Bulls in the Bronx, I was kind of like, okay, you know what? I honestly don't think I'm going to meet the ma meet the band. I really want to give them this letter. And like, I started waving it. I was kind of like at the front, like waving it. There's going to be a picture somewhere here of him taking up my letter. And uh, Vic saw it. He was kind of like, he turned around. He was like, oh, you got letters for us guys. And he started giving his long speech. And uh, the security guard like took my letter and passed it on to Vic. And he like looked at me and he like, he was like, oh, thank you for giving us this letter. And then he went on to this speech. There was a video of it on YouTube, but it got taken down. And I'm so annoyed because it was like one of the best moments ever. Like, he actually acknowledged my existence for like two seconds. And then, yeah, knowing that they got the letter and everything, it was just, it was just wow. <laughs> and yeah, they were really good. If you have a chance to go see Pierce the Whale, I definitely suggest you go see them because they're amazing live. And I cried during the gig because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they put on a really good show and they're so amazing. So if you have a chance to go see Pierce the Whale, you go see them. <laughs> then the next gig I've ever went to was Sleeping with Sirens. And that was also at the Academy in Dublin. And I saw them on the 2nd of October, 2013. I think it was 2013. Yeah, it was 2013. And it was on my birthday. It was on my 17th birthday that I saw them. And once again, I was at the very front of the stage. Lucky me, I guess. And Hands Like Houses supported them again. Uh, it was also The Getaway Plan and some other band. I can't remember. The Getaway Plan were amazing. They were the opening act. And honestly, they were so good. I was just like, wow. <laughs> So it was really nice to find a new band that's really good. So if you ever have a chance to go see The Getaway Plan, I suggest you do because they put on such a good show. Hands Like Houses were great. Um, actually, the keyboard player, uh, sorry, I don't know their names. Uh, 
he had like a little tag on this keyboard saying loser pointing up to him and I started doing this I was like oh loser and he saw me and he started doing this again and then like the whole like front row started doing this it was really funny how we kind of had like a the connection you know what I'm saying sleeping with sirens were actually really good I was really terrified to kind of see them because they were my favorite band at that time and I was actually kind of scared to go see them because people were like oh sleeping with sirens is shit like Kelly Quinn, Kelly, Kelly Quinn can sing for shit they were so good I was honestly surprised myself. I was like, what the fuck are you on about? They were so good. They put on a hell of a show. They were so energetic. And Jack Fowler, he kept like looking at my camera and making funny faces in my camera. And it was really funny. And also, um, my friend and I, we're annoying Justin Hills. You know how he doesn't like being called Lonely Big Cock? Yeah, we kept shouting that at him and we had like a little sign that said it and uh, he ignored us for the whole show. Then, um, Killing Quinn, right before they played If I'm James Dean, the acoustic version, he wished me a happy birthday because I was like, oh my god, this is like the best birthday ever and I had like a little thing that said, you know, best birthday ever. I was a fangirl. Fuck off. <laughs> and he was kind of like, Happy birthday, and then everyone went insane, and I was like, holy shit, I have a clip of it. Yeah, it was really good, and then at the very end of the show, Jack Fowler, he like, stopped me, and he gave me their set list and his guitar pick, and I have it on my wardrobe somewhere over there, I'm sure you guys have seen it from our room tour, and it honestly, it was like the best birthday present ever for me at that time, it's just, they were super lovely, and... They put on a really good show, so yeah, that was really good. The last gig that I've been to was Avenged Sevenfold, and that was in the O2 in Dublin, but I think it's called the Tree Arena now? I'm not sure, they keep changing their name, but whatever. I saw them in December 4th? I think it was December 4th, 2013. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, we stood in the line for ages, and it was so cold, and I badly needed to pee. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold used to be my favorite band. I really wanted to see them for a long time, but I was kind of disappointed. Avatar and Five Finger Death Punch supported them. Avatar were really good. Um, Five Finger Death Punch were actually really good and funny. The guy like started dancing really funny around the stage, and he was so happy. It was it was good. Um, <clears throat> there was the crowd. It was insane. So I was kind of the front, but not really. <clears throat> What's happening with my voice? So like, there was this, so I could barely see anything because I'm so tiny and there was this really tall guy in front of me with a massive afro and I'm not kidding you, his afro got in my fucking mouth. It was disgusting. And there was this girl, I saw my friends and I was like, we were just talking, like we were, we were standing in our spot, like we weren't trying to push through anyone because there was honestly no point. And this really drunk girl came up to us and she was like, oh my god, you guys are such assholes, why are you standing in my spot? And we were like, we've been standing here like ever since the gig started, um, excuse me? And she was like, oh, oh my god, no, it's my spot, get the fuck out. And she was being really rude and we were just like, okay. Everyone was basically like a massive animal and they were so rude and I was just kind of like, oh my god, why? But when events came on, I was like, wow, I can't believe they're standing in front of me, this is crazy. They were really good, but in the middle of the show I got really sick. I started feeling really nauseous for some reason and I was just like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I left my spot, I was being trampled over, I was being pushed around. I mean, I know to expect that from a gig, but like... It was all too much for me, so I went to the very back where there was less people, so I was just kind of standing there enjoying the show. I didn't have any more afro in my mouth, I didn't have people being rude to me, um, just standing in their spot, oh, and I was wearing this massive long coat and it was so hot and I had nowhere to put it. And um, I don't, it was, it just wasn't a nice experience, but you know, I just kind of like stood around, watched Avenged play, they were very good, like 10-10. Avenged were amazing, but like overall the experience kind of wasn't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it really sucks because I started getting really sick in the middle of it. I was just like, I feel really nauseous. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna get sick. So that kind of just ruined it for me. And then when the gig ended, it was really cold and rainy outside and I had to walk all the way to my aunt's house and <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> But yeah, those are all the gigs that I've went to. I haven't been to many because none of my favorite bands like to come to Ireland. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to go into more detail and in depth 
of this video then let me know and I might make it someday but yeah once again I wish you guys a happy new year and I can't wait to see you guys next week like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to or if you haven't share it if you would like to and I will see you guys next week bye I know um so yeah this is Camila and I love her so much and I know she is watching this so girl I love you